Oh, yeah, that was a good one. I got a friend who sits at the corner a lot, selling pills to the girls when they cross the block. I told him he should quit that sketchy scene. He told me nothing compares to the fever dream. That's what I do. Welcome to the fourth season of uh, Smags reviews reactions uh i just did a ranking video from the past 40 reviews if you saw my last poll you're probably like what the fuck this is in daft punk um i tried testing out whether or not youtube was gonna let me upload some of the music from the beatles uh and th it was unsuccessful they did not let me do that so i'm gonna have to find um possible way to review the beatles albums I, I, so i don't know if i'll have to do it on youtube or some different platform i don't know uh, so give me some ideas from that in the comments if you want, but we're listening to Daft Punk today Thank you guys for watching uh, like and support the channel if you guys want if you enjoy the video if you enjoy my review and analysis um, But yeah, let's let's get right into it track number one is one more time I'm not gonna cap to y'all who doesn't know this song. All right, but I'm still gonna listen to it anyways It's interesting listening to this in my room all alone Ready, ready. One more time. Oh, that shit hit. One more time. Oh. You know I'm just feeling celebration. I don't remember this part. Celebrate. Music's got me feeling so free. Celebrate and dance so free. One more time. Music's got me feeling. One more time. Music's got me feeling so we're gonna celebrate, celebrate and dance so free, free. One more time, this got the feeling so free. We're gonna celebrate, celebrate. Oh God, the fuck? You know, I think it says something. You know, the fact that I'm sitting here, dead sober, dead sober, alone, alone. Ain't no function going on. It's a Wednesday night. It's a Wednesday night. And I'm sitting here all alone, but the song still bangs. The song still bangs, and honestly, I, I've always wanted to know what sample they use for that, you know, the, for the one more time. I've always wanted to know, but yeah, st still a banger, always a banger. I, I never realized how long that bridge into the second half, like, really was. I mean, that, that takes up a big chunk of the song, and I never realized that. Track number two is Aerodynamic. Hmm. Do these lyrics really exist? I don't know. I don't get those church bells though. I don't understand that. It's kind of creepy. What the fuck? It's like swirling. It's like swirling in my head right now. You know what? That was a bit indescribable, to be honest. Usually I like to attribute a setting to instrumentals, but... Um, I don't, that, those, those, that little church bell threw me off, and the, the little arpeggiated guitar kind of did too, I don't know what the fuck that sounded like, I don't, I can't compare that sound to anything, all I know is that that shit banged. Track number three is Digital Love. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, I like that lead. Oh, 
Why does it sound familiar? Thank you. Yeah, uh, more kind of robotic vocals. Um, I, I don't know if that was a sample. I felt like those vocals were them. I don't know what that was in the end. I don't know if that was a guitar or a synth. You know, I, I feel like it was maybe trying to mimic a guitar. Not in a sound way, but just in a way, it's like it's hard to fucking describe. It's really hard to describe. I feel like I would need to just be on like some sort of party drug to fully experience this rather than just me track number four is harder better faster stronger uh i know what this is like i know kind of use this as a sample i don't think i've ever listened to this like sat down and listened to this but i know what it sounds like off the top of my head but i don't know how like it progresses at all so um i i, I kind of know this i kind of don't so That hat is crazy. Make it, make it, do it. Makes us ever after work is over. God damn! I love what they were doing with those those hi hat. I love the symbols. That shit was that shit was fire. That was, my, that was my favorite part of the production right there. Just the just the rhythm in the in the in the beginning was my favorite. Uh, but yeah, I can definitely see why Kanye used that as a sample. So. Uh, shout out to shout out to everyone on the team who played a role. I don't know, but yeah. Uh, track number five is Crescendos. This might be Richard D. James. This might be the avalanche. I feel like I'm going on a water slide right now. You know what? I don't like that arpeggio, but I'm gonna thug it out. Trying to predict where it's gonna go. The track was amazing. I, lo I love the rhythm of that. Uh, definitely think it's the weakest so far, but I, I still thought it was really good. I thought it was incredible. Yeah, I mean, that was 
I was really, really isolated in, in, in the beginning. It sounded kind of weird. You know, I, it just took me to a party. Like I said, water slide. I felt like I was going down a water slide. And everyone's watching me, cheering me on as I'm as I'm going down the water slide. But yeah, that's, that's kind of what it felt like to me. Track number six is Night Vision. Oh, oh. Okay, but why is it like kind of sensual, you know? Just it's just like synth waves. I feel like I'm in a, like an electronic ocean right now. God, tell me why that that was one minute and not ten. Tell me why that was one minute and not 10. Here's what I'm going to do. This is prophecy right here. I'm going to write down, listen to this before bed. And I'm going to listen to this song before bed. And then I'm going to get in bed, night visions loop. And then listen to this as I sleep. I feel like this will really regenerate my mind for the for the coming day. At first, at first I was thinking sexy, but then I, but then I started feeling cleansed. I was like, oh wait, this isn't sexy. This is, this is healing. This is healing me. So yeah, track number seven is um, Superheroes. Oh, it's a lot of the same lyric. Are you sure? Fading in vocals is crazy. Kick drum is beating me down. Pause. This makes me want to jump rope. Loki shocked. I was not expecting to to like that as much as I did. Oh my god! Because it started off kind of like I, I was kind of unsettled in, in the beginning, and the vocals coming in, I just didn't see myself liking the kick drum that much. I mean, that was just insane. That ended off so magical too. That ended off just like so spiritual. You know, my third eye opened at the end of that. I feel I feel like I turned up, and then like it just brought me brought me to peace at the end of that i'm so locked i'm so locked in right now i don't even want to pause uh track eight is high life i knew it was coming Not tell me that that was three minutes and twenty seconds. I feel like I just left. I, I feel like I just left space time continuum for a billion years, and I just came back. Like that. That there was no way. That track number nine is something about us. I like that little le electric piano. I'm so horny right now. I'm not even gonna talk. I'm not even gonna talk right now. Oh 
my god, my cock is out. It might not be the right time. I might not be the right one. But there's something about us I've got to do. Some kind of secret I will share with you. Can't I just exist on this vibe 24-7? How hard how how much is that to ask for? Why can't why can't this just be me permanently? Why can't I just have this forever? Yeah, that was the one, man. That was the one. That was my favorite song on here. Possibly all time. No, I I, I like his vocals a lot, but I think the track would have been just as good as an instrumental too. The second it came in. You know, with the little that's like a similar vibe to night vision i feel like you know similar category i hope we get at least one more of those on this album track 10 is voyager Interested to see what they do with this. Spring everything right back in. Fuck it. Just take me away. I don't know. I kind of just melted within that, you know. I feel like it fits perfectly within the album. I I, I don't think it was worse than anything else on here. I just I, I don't know. I'm just continuing to kind of just melt into this atmosphere. And so I I think it's perfect, you know. The first word is Voyager, so I was kind of picturing myself in space, and it was definitely working. I was de I was definitely spacing out there. So, <laughs> um, track number eleven is Veritas Quo. I don't even exist anymore. Oh my god, bro. Where were you in high school, man? I needed I needed this in, I needed this in high school. Not much of a reaction to that song right there. There wasn't much to react to. It was just kind of having, you know, an, an emotional, an emotional effect on me. You know, kind of nostalgic in a way, but very like nighttime nostalgia. You know, not really a lot of daytime there. That that kind of just brought me down to like a mellow state. So I'm gonna have to. Am I gonna have to turn up again now? Am I gonna have to go back in the party? <laughs>
super different from everything on here so far. And I was not expecting it to go back into that kind of cool, calmer, calmer direction. I, I know I wasn't the biggest fan of the first half, but the second half really got me like seeing that seeing like how it flowed. It makes sense now. Number 13 is face to face. <laughs> That was probably my least favorite so far on the album. I'm I, I, I'm not sure why, you know. I mean, honestly, I'm kind of thinking about this ten minutes song right now, so I'm I'm kind of completely thrown off. Like the production, I don't know. I'm just kind of like, you know, the past two songs kind of brought me down to like a little calmer mood. So trying to get back into that, you know, dance turn up state, it's kind of hard. See, so we'll see what this last track does to me. Ten minutes, um, too long. Too long. It's too long, been much too long. I feel it coming too on. Long. The feeling's getting strong. Mm. Yeah. At last, the long way is over. The weight is off my shoulders. I'm taking all control. Yeah. The feeling so so true. The good feeling's coming through. My mind is set so free I'm where I want to be To get the best of me oh. God again. This is the, this isn't the first time this has happened. That just wore me out. I, I'm really glad that that song was not in the middle of the track list. That it was uh at at the very end because now I am I am all. I am, I'm daft punked out. I admire the vision. Would I ever go back to that song? No. I would say that song and the 13th song are probably my least favorite on here. I don't know why, you know? In my mind, this ends on short circuit. The only theme and motive I can think of behind this album is just to just let go of everything and just fucking dance. Just to dance your dick off. So, and that's, that's just what, that's what I tried to do. You, you can work out to some of the music on here. You can turn up, you can get sad, you can cry to a lot of the music on here. So I think that this album is incredibly diverse, more more than I thought Daft Punk was. I mean, I, I was expecting this whole album to be kind of just a dance electronic kind of thing. So I'm pleasantly surprised by this whole fucking thing. So yeah, I mean, that's just what I gotta say about it right now. Thank you. For th this is the first video in the new season here. New season.
I don't know. I, I, I just do a ranking every 40 videos. But yeah, thank you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you and I love you. Thank you for the support. Feel free to leave a like if you if you like this review. Uh, if you didn't, uh, it's that's fine. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.